What's up, YouTube? Here with a review of two different kukris that I, I bought from um, X Gurkha Kukri House. Um, it's going to be a bit be a bit of an objective review. Both of these knives are just great knives. Um, there's just some minor finishing touches that need a little bit of work as far as quality control stuff like that but as far as the function goes they're great I, I you couldn't ask for anything more I mean these things will last a lifetime and it's from one of the um, we'll say less good companies out of Nepal that sell kukris um, in terms of the company that you want to go to, it, it really just depends. If you want really high end and you have the money to spend, I'd say go with um, Himalayan Imports or uh, Tora Blades because their quality control, their their fin like all their finishing touches, everything just leave a, a perfect blade. But if you want anything remotely interesting, you're going to be paying. 150 plus dollars um the knives that i bought were from ex gurkha kukri house and they're fully functional they're i mean pretty beautiful knives i mean that there's nothing really wrong with the way that they function there's nothing really wrong with the way that they look except for a few minor imperfections that are gonna happen if you're doing um hand forged anything i mean there's gonna be an imperfection but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go one by one, um, kind of explain a little bit about them as far as, you know, the imperfections that come with x Gurkha Kukri House as opposed to Tora Blades or Himalayan Imports and just kind of explain where you get your bang for your buck. So, I, I, I've seen on YouTube many Tora Blade and like um, Himalayan import reviews as opposed to uh, ex Gurkha Kukri House reviews and none of them really touch on the differences so much so I, I'll start with this one because this one's probably my favorite of the two and it's definitely the most heavy duty out of, out of, out of the two so, um, this one is the th Three Chira Kukri, um, it, it's basically meant as like a farming tool type Kukri, and it's just a heavy duty blade, like this thing is, I, I got pretty big hands and that thing's about a good chunk of my thumb with for the spine and it's about it's two, a little bit tiny bit over two pounds um just 12 inch blade roughly five inch handle this thing is meaty and brutal uh, you you could not break this knife you could not damage this knife in a way that you couldn't use it again it'd be impossible almost like unless you used heavy machine machinery I don't see any way that you're gonna make this thing unusable um, it's full tang as you can see the tang goes all the way through the handle kind of tapers down a little bit which is pretty cool um, the only issue with it uh, is that at the palma here this piece kind of wiggles a little bit um because it's supposed to be a uh, peened kind of tang at the end which is a little ridiculous considering it's full tang all the way through with two handle pieces you don't really need the peened end at that point um but the handles never ever going to come loose like the actual meat and potatoes of the handle like the wooden part is never going to move because of these um these pins that that's why they're there that 
what you see on samurai swords so why the handles last on those um so i mean really this is more of a function over form thing this is just the form like it's not super important uh I've I've used this thing many many times. The, the this thing will demolish everything that you put it to. Um, when I got it, it didn't come super sharp, but it came functional. And you don't need these things to be super sharp to be functional. But this thing at this point is super sharp. I, I I've done damage to myself with this thing by accident. It's brutally sharp um but you don't need it to be like that for it to really do its job it, it's a heavy chopper it it's meant for heavy things um but the difference that you see from this thing to say a uh, himalayan imports torah is that you know maybe um the handle will be a little bit cleaner like see that that uh little pen there how the brass doesn't go all the way around it's not perfectly circular uh that'll be better shaped um this probably wouldn't happen the the wiggle part probably wouldn't happen um you know just minor things like that maybe a bit better of a polish it's like semi unfinished polish it you're gonna see minor things like that but basically they both function the same if, if you were to get a kukri uh, a kukri um same size as this from say himalayan imports or torah there wouldn't really be a difference in the way it functions just those minor little details like but i didn't really get this to look pretty i got it for heavy work i got it for you know Cutting shit up, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, uh, it's more of a, a, a function piece than uh, that, like a wall hanger. That's why I got it. This thing here, kind of the same deal, but this one's a little bit better put together. Um, so the way that this one is, is the spine of it is a lot thinner. It's more of a fighting type kukri it's um the one it, it, it's the service one that the gurkhas get the gurkha army that this is generally the one that they at least used to carry it's a bit smaller it's about a nine and a half inch blade um spines like pretty thin compared at least but it's still a lot thicker of a spine than you would see on most blades um, steel's the same. It's all 5160 spring steel. This one, actually, I, I saw the spine on this one is much softer. I took a uh, really crappy blade one time that I had. Samurai sword that I bought for like 50 bucks. Smacked it on the uh, blade part of it, of this blade. Like right here, barely did any damage at all to this blade. Screwed up my um the the crappy blade that I had. It just basically left a huge indent in the blade and then decided to take the same blade to see if this was actually differentially heat treated. Which means if if it's differentially heat treated, this part of the blade is going to be a lot hotter harder than this side of the blade. So I took a crappy blade, whacked it on that side, barely did anything. Hit it on this side and it left a nice indent. I think it's on this side. Just a little tooth of metal now. So it is actually differentially heat treated. Um, so ex Gurkha Kukri House does do the whole forging process straight up very well. But this one's a little bit harder all around the the spine is softer but it's not because of the blade size it's obvious why like the back of this spine will be a little bit harder than this one um but this knife it, it's not um 
The handle isn't split in two on this one, but it is still full tang. It's a peened um, full tang. Basically, blade comes down and it's kind of cut in a little bit thinner and then comes down like a rat tail. And then it's peened into place. The only, only thing that is wrong with this thing is with some real pressure, the pommel will move a little bit. And then just small imperfections on the pommel. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Um, so there, there's like a little bit of a, a, a chunk taken out right there. It's hard to see. But um, that that's just a grinding error, a forging error. And then there's like kind of a half line. Yeah, right there. It's like halfway up and kind of faded, but you can see where they tried to forge it together or whatever, and it kind of messed up. But this thing, I, I, I put this thing through a lot of bullshit, and it's come out on top. I mean, I've never had this thing fail. It, you, the only way to make this thing break is if you basically sit there and hack away at a steel wall. And, uh... Uh, you can still see some of the marks from like that's just sap and random crud that just built up on it that I can't get off because of how much I've actually used this thing. Um, so this thing you could potentially break it, maybe because it's a rat tail design, so it, it's not a full thickness tang. Um, this thing you wouldn't be able to. I, I'd be hard-pressed to see anybody try and break this thing and manage to do it. I mean, it's full thickness tang. You're, you're not... It, it's not going to happen. It's such thick steel. Like, no. But, um... The, uh, ex Kukri House. The only downfall of them is their quality control of the minor details. Like, these... These pieces, this piece wiggling. Or, you know, this piece being just slightly a little bit loose enough that you can move it with some real effort. I mean, it barely moves, like maybe a millimeter each way. And then just the minor forging details. So that's why the ex Gurkha Kukri house, it, um,. Cells display is a little bit cheaper. Also, they're more kind of mass produced. They're the ones that supply their military with knives. So it, it it's not a master kami forging every single blade that they make because they make so many. They're going to have people who are less experienced making them on occasion. So that that's why you get some that are kind of subpar in terms of finish but th these blades will never be subpar in terms of function just finish the like these things will do what er whatever you need them to do heavy duty light duty anything in between they'll do it so in all x -Gurk cookie house is um worth it because of the price if you have the money Definitely go with Himalayan Imports or um, Tora Blades if you have the money. If not, this thing was 70 bucks, 90 bucks of shipping. This thing was like 50, 60 bucks, 70, 80 with shipping. So, I mean, it's your decision how you go, but that's my take on it.